I get to get up every morning and work with these incredibly talented kids on music like Brahms, Prokofiev, Shostakovich, um, work all day with that in this beautiful facility. Uh, it's a great job. I can't imagine my life without music. It's like it gives you these things. It has this like life and spirit about it. It touches you in so many ways. It's, it's weird sometimes because I feel like crying and then another song will come on and I just laugh. Like with Mozart and different jokes that I can hear. I love playing symphonic music. It's a full symphony orchestra with full winds, and we play such great repertoire of music. We sort of fell into this idea, combining the advanced students across the district. So the way this works is I go to each school and teach a class for Evergreen Philharmonic. And then on Fridays, the kids all come together after school and we put it all together. We came in here four years ago, and we're seniors now, and we've been with the same people for all these years, so they're kind of like, like our family. I go to Skyline, and Edward goes to Issaquah, but, you know, I always look forward to rehearsals. We get, we get, we get to see each other, and we get to see all our friends. Yeah. And I just love, like, sharing the music with all these people that we love to be around. audition to get our spots and we have chairs there's principal players and there's first chair second chair so I think it rewards people who work hard violin in this orchestra is notorious for being the most difficult section to get into and advance up through well you have to fight your way through a good 80 other people just to get a spot and then work your way up through the ranks It is like your family here, but I mean, people do want to be ahead, want to be in the front. So it's a little cutthroat in that way, but people respect each other too. So is the second chair viola? <laughs> <laughs> the danger is, is that when music turns to solely competition and you're competing with people, the music is lost. Thank you.
play trombone in our jazz band here at the high school. I think it's great to be exposed to a lot of different types of music because you don't know where you're gonna end up and maybe you're gonna have to play something that you don't usually play, so you want that experience. I kind of wonder about people sometimes that don't have music in their lives and like how do you live exactly? <laughs> like I know it's just such a big part in understanding life for me really. The best musicians listen to each other and know how to fit into each other's sound. You have to have like that passion and spirit in the music to actually do what the composer wants. You know, you can't just play the notes. You have to understand what the notes mean, what the notes say. have to have that spirit to really not just play the music, but be the music, like tell the story. this emotion, it comes from the music, and so it's like the music is actually alive. 